Good morning, I'm Emilia Duplessis, and this is Hawk TV for Monday, April 17th, 2023, and it's NEF Day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This week is Autism Acceptance Spirit Week. Here is Sawyer Cass to tell you more. Hello, Patton. My name is Sawyer Cass, and I will be sharing uh, the Spirit Days for Autism Acceptance Week. Tomorrow is a uh, Neurodiversity Tuesday to celebrate the beauty in the uh, diverse uh, spectrum of the human mind wear a rainbow or tie-dyed clothes to school. Hawk's Nest is open after school Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday in the library from 2.50 to 4 p.m. Come do your homework, get tutoring help, or study with your friends. If you have any questions, see Miss O'Neill. The high school tennis coaches will be offering an open court time this Thursday from 3 to 4.30 for all Patton students. All you need is a racket, court shoes, and a great attitude. No experience is necessary. Enter the Patton Planner Art Contest. Your artwork could be chosen for next year's Patton Planner. The contest is open to current 6th and 7th graders. Artwork is due by Friday, April 28th by 3 p.m. to Mrs. Schultz. Hey, listen up, Patton Ambassadors. There's going to be a yearbook photo today at Hawk Time. So report to the cafeteria to the, uh, today at Hawk Time for your yearbook photo, Patton Ambassadors. Well, you've been hearing about the uh, Unionville Mountain Bike Club. Well, if you're interested and you love to ride your bike, go to Mrs. Stump's room tomorrow after first 10. That's room 135. You'll learn all about this fall sport, including what you do at practices, events, and the fun you're going to have. We hope to see you there. How about some patent sports news? The 7th and 8th grade girls lacrosse teams faced off against Pierce on Thursday. The 8th graders came away with a hard-fought win with a score of 9-4. of four. Goals by Riley Davis, Kayla Salucci, Riley Coates, and Natalie Kovakovic. There was also some amazing saves and goal made by Blair Nagel. Patton 8th grade baseball tied 11-11 uh, at Octorera on Thursday. Octorera capped should the lead in the first inning, but the Hawks notched four runs in the second. The offensive firepower was led by Logan Grayston, Wes Haco, Connor Knight, and Nick Jones, all driving in runs in the frame. Hunter West went for the long ball in the third and fifth innings. Uh, Hunter West and Alex Gonzalez each had two hits for the Hawks. About some softball news, the 7th grade girls softball team picked up a win against Octorera in their season opener on Thursday. Jocelyn Thompson led the offense with two home runs and a double with three runs scored. Gracie Brunn caught an amazing game in the heat while scoring four runs. Devin McCarrick had a diving catch at first base while also scoring three runs. Bella Rock had two nice catches in left field. Ava, Ava Cormier and Skylar Lovelace combined for the win on the mound. The 8th grade softball team beat Octorera on Tuesday. Emma, Emma Yardley paired up with her catcher Lily Givens to strike out five for the Hawks. Addie Pomponi, Emma Oakley, and Yardley all smacked doubles for the Hawks. Bella Rossman had two hits, scored three runs, and was solid at shortstop. Here's today's band schedule at 8-12, 8th grade study hall, 8-57, all 6th grade percussion gold and purple, 9-42, 6th grade alto sax is purple, 12-34, 6th grade flutes purple, at 119, no lesson, and a hawk time advisory. Happy birthday to Heidi Barton, Lizzie Karen, Sydney Uffberg, and on April 15th, we're sorry we didn't say your birthday earlier, Aiden Steenrod. That's all for today. We'll see you tomorrow for another Hawk TV. I'm Claire Hoban. Have a great day.